Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now August 15th of 2020 and ever since the very end of the Skywalker Saga with Episode 9 concluding the massive series that was started by George Lucas, a lot of fans have been very skeptical and curious about whether or not Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are really going to be able to pull things off with the Star Wars universe moving forward. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that Disney and Lucasfilm plan to do is that they are in fact developing multiple plans to reunite the Star Wars fans around the world, and to also really recapture the experience of George Lucas's take on Star Wars. Essentially, what they really want to conclude here with, of course, you know, the Star Wars fans is that they want to make it clear that they really want to embrace authentic Star Wars stories. They're going to pretty much be true to what George Lucas had a vision for with the prequels, the originals, and Star Wars Legends, you name it. Now, looking ahead with the new Star Wars movies and the new Star Wars TV shows, there's a lot coming our way. And what I mean by a lot, I mean a lot. You know, they already have 10 years worth of Star Wars TV shows in the works. They got a Star Wars trilogy in development as well as spin-off movies on the side. That's a lot of material, separate from the video games and the comics, books, novels. It just makes you mind blown as to exactly how big Star Wars is going to become throughout this entire decade of the 2020s and beyond. Now, of course, that all is going to rest on whether or not there's going to be a high success rate, which they really do have to hit that mark. Now, with that being noted here, of course, what's really exciting is that with both Disney and Lucasfilm now fully focused on their new Star Wars trilogy of movies, they are also developing their brand new Star Wars universe for fans around the world. It's explained that both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are actively developing dozens of new Star Wars projects for the fans to enjoy. It's explained that George Lucas, Jon Favreau, and Dave Filoni are going through massive changes to the Star Wars franchise where George Lucas just finished canceling the high Republic Star Wars movies and High Republic Star Wars TV shows, and that they are all currently being reworked by Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau. Now, Lucas also cancelled around 50% of the High Republic books, and some of the finished ones have been delayed for some major changes to be applied to the stories. Now, it's explained that the new High Republic TV shows will now be restructured by Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni in order to ensure that this era will be successful and welcome to the Star Wars fans that they will accept. It's explained that the TV shows and movies of the High Republic timeline have all been cancelled that were approved by Kathleen Kennedy during the very end of 2019 and that George Lucas just finished cancelling all of them and that they are going to be reworked including full-blown wars this time around instead of Kennedy's approach of not including any wars in the High Republic era. Now, it's further described that this plan by Lucas is to also incorporate some of his original ideas of the prequels that will be used for the new High Republic TV series that will be reimagined away from Kennedy's plans for this timeline. So here's the very impressive thing about George Lucas's new take on the High Republic era is that he is going to throw in a lot of his original plans for the prequel trilogy era and throwing it into the High Republic stories. Now, granted, the High Republic books, 50% of which are still intact and some of which have been delayed and are not going to be released until next year, and a majority, the other 50%, were canceled and are being reworked. Now, the TV shows, the movies, you name it, all canceled and are being redesigned by Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni, and George Lucas to really have a different feel, if you will, to the overall new timeline. Now, in case you guys are out of the loop, the High Republic era still stands in as being based roughly 200 years before The Phantom Menace. That is still concrete right now. The other thing that's being changed, however, is that there are going to be brutal wars in this new era of Star Wars. Initially, Kathleen Kennedy did not want any wars to take place in the High Republic timeline. What she wanted was, well, she wanted to focus away from having any wars or any kind of conflict in these new Star Wars stories, which I honestly believe would have been rather boring. It would have been a drag. I don't think a lot of fans would have really accepted that. I mean, it could have worked maybe in a book, but definitely not in an actual Star Wars movie or TV show at that. So you gotta look at everything here. Kathleen Kennedy, once again, this is a great example that she doesn't know exactly what she's doing with Star Wars, and thankfully, 
This entire universe was put to the wayside and is being redesigned by George Lucas where he cancelled out the old High Republic era and is designing a new High Republic timeline for the fans around the world to enjoy. Again guys, I am psyched, I'm very excited to see exactly what the new TV shows are going to look like, what the new books are going to look like. Some of the original books that were initiated by Kennedy, by the way, are still intact but are being delayed or being reworked at the same exact time. So like I've said before in the past guys, you know, drop a comment below, let me know about all of this in the comments and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.